Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. We've done this a number of times in the UFC. The sweet science. Oh, Some people think boxing is simple. It is anything but. This fighter has certainly mastered it. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Three years apart, with big differences in height and reach. We send it inside Ladies the octagon. The veteran voice is This Chris is Paul. the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, Fighting out of Muncie, Indiana, USA, Big. All right, good to the losing locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. A nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. You ready? You ready? Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And they separate. Great punch landing with so much power. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Oh, a little single power tie there. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Left. Oh! Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Hardy right, closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. And they separate. He is all about that left kick to the body. Just misses with the punch by Lee. Not there. This guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his chin into his opponent. Oh, and he caught the kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Working out of that southpaw stance. Oh, beautiful hook there. And now he lands a combination. He's got to go change that finish down there. 
Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. And he landed the right hand there. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, so. he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. Able to land the single ground strike there. Well, he's got his back now. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Wow. Oh. 20 seconds left. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Oh, uh, single collar tie here. It's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Right hand punch to the twin. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Oh, is that a good knee to the body there by Lee? Work his head. Work his head. Work his head. All right, single collar tie now. And they set. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. We're a baller there. Goes back to that left kick once again. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Single collar tie now. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight.
Andy, so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched blood. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Let's get it inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 31 seconds of round number 2. Playing the winner by knockout. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.